Hey, it's your boy Bobby Beast here. I want to talk about a subject that comes to mind. Hey, I want to talk about a character that is legendary and great and I think deserves to be in Dragon Ball Super. I think this character deserves that in return. Pycon. That's correct. I mean, the guy got one of the greatest Bruce Falcon themes in all of Dragon Ball. And not only that, he's one of the greatest characters ever. According to the history that we know about Pycon, he comes from the Western Galaxy. And he is trained by the West Kai. He is pretty much similar to Goku. He seems like he's Goku and Piccolo combined. In terms of image, he's very similar to Piccolo. And not only that, in characteristics, he is as well. Very serious guy, very straight to the point type of person. Now, during the time when PyCon was around, he was like uh, like a guardian. He was probably like the baddest dude in the afterlife because he was so powerful. I mean, there was a situation where um, there was trouble going on in the, um, the afterlife. And Goku popped up to you know, take care handle business it was caused by cell um frieza and the ginyu force minus captain ginyu because as you know captain ginyu was not dead he was in the body of a frog and they were causing a lot of trouble goku was like you know i have to stop you again and then all of a sudden you know goku beat the living hell out of the ginyu guys but lo and behold when it was freezing in cells time along with king cole uh pycon showed up and not only that, Pycon, you know, he he beat them, he whooped their ass, man. Like, he, he did them, like, wrong. He didn't even sweat. He had on weighted clothing. He didn't even take it off. That goes to show you how powerful this guy was. Because you got to remember, coming out of that saga, we was coming out of the Cell saga. I mean, the epic struggle between Gohan and Cell. And, I mean, everybody was so worried. But this guy named Pycon can just, you know, beat the living hell out of Cell uh, like it's nothing. Now, that may be acquired to, well, due to the fact that maybe he was training so long in the afterlife. Or maybe he was just that strong when he died. Uh, according to what said, he died a heroic death. Now, thinking about it, we can theorize about how he died. If they were to include him, because um, the origins of PyCon, the fact of the matter is that he originated in the animation. He was not an original character in the manga. And henceforth, that keeps him from being in super as canon. And yeah, that, that sucks. But if they were to make him canon, because there's still a chance he can be canon. Uh, what if it was Beerus who destroyed his planet? What if it was it's him fighting Beerus? And, you know, he, he was holding it down. It was time for Beerus to make some destruction or maybe in a hero act. He encountered Beerus and had to die. I mean, you know, you never know. It could be that because I personally don't think PyCon uh, recently came to the afterlife around the time Goku came. I think he's been there for a long time because he has history with other legendary heroes. Uh, but, yeah, man, I think PyCon deserves to be in the Dragon Ball Super Universe. I mean, imagine him. And not only that, the dude was like a, a very close rival to Goku. Very smart, very strategic fighter, very good fighter. And I mean, hey man, I really wish he would come back. Not only that, he was in the Fusion movie as well. And he was helping Goku and Vegeta fight um, Jamba Bara. I'm probably saying that name wrong. I'm so sorry. But yeah, he was there straight up and down, you know, in the Fusion movie too. So, you know, not only that, you know, he, there's some more content with PyCon. Like, for example, in Dragon Ball Heroes, he has like on West Kai attire. And he was called in to help fight Super Saiyan 4 Broly. I mean, man, I mean. That that would be sweet. But uh, I just really wish they would bring that character back. But, I mean, you know, that's just me speaking my mind on that. I just want to say much love, much respect. If you like the content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And hit that bell for notifications. It's your boy Bobby Beast. Hold it down. And one.